My name is Heather Staines. I am a state senator and this is my home. Our house is very uneven in the way it heats. My son who now has a bedroom in the basement, it's always freezing for him. We've tried doing some small stuff to make it more comfortable, but we end up having to use a space heater all the time. Uh, whereas my, one of my other kids' bedrooms upstairs is just boiling all the time. Um, so we're very uh, uneven. And then our energy bills, I think, are much higher than our typical neighbors. And I feel like there's got to be ways that we could really reduce our energy usage. The Illinois Association of Energy Raters is a uh, group of certified and highly trained contractors and diagnostics people that come into homes all across the state and actually in other states as well and pinpoint the opportunities for improvement in both existing homes and in new construction projects mm -hmm. so that you can do things to homes that are higher performance, makes them last longer, makes them more comfortable, makes them uh, cost less on the energy side of things. What we did is put together a package for you that includes a list of prioritized recommendations, first things to hit, um, and incidentally, the first things to hit on your list were not things that you even uh, necessarily knew about. We've got a ceiling which you would assume is perfectly insulated. Um, and when you run the blow order test and then do an infrared scan, you find out that it actually looks like this. You can see there's huge pieces of insulation completely missing. This is really important in this room because this is not only the hottest, moistest level of the house, the top floor, it's also the hottest, moistest room in that level. It's a bathroom. People take showers and steam showers, sometimes even baths. This is the place where you're going to worry about condensation the most. And you've got all these cold surfaces now. Uh, as soon as we start doing the air sealing and make the attic even colder than it already is, and incidentally, it's sort of halfway between inside temperature and outside temperature right now. We're going to make it all the way outside. At that point, that insulation is going to be really, really important because otherwise that, that drywall right there is going to be 30 degrees today. Uh, that would be a nightmare for this bathroom. We're in the attic now where most people don't like to spend a lot of time. We have some storage up here and actually the attic is not the best place to store things. Number one, uh, the main ingredient in insulation is air, not fiberglass. So when you set something on top of the insulation, if there's not a floor up here, it squishes all the air out of it and it doesn't do anything anymore. Not a great idea. If you can use the basement or a storage space for that, then that would be better. If there is a floor, what you'll see a lot of times is people just come up here and lay insulation on top of the floor. That doesn't work either because there's an air gap between the underside of the floor and the insulation underneath it. And anytime there's an air gap within insulation, air leakage always beats insulation every single time. So it essentially just wasted a bunch of money. This attic has no floor, which is great. It means you can get at everything. It also has bat insulation everywhere. It looks a little torn up, but this is in fact bat insulation, which is just sewn together kind of blankets of fiberglass. That's good as well because it's easy to pull up, and that's essentially what the contractors are going to do. First step, it's going to pull up the insulation in each section and get at the air leakage uh, points that are coming through here. So once they've done all that, taken the insulation up section by section, gotten at the things, put it back, then they can add more insulation. We're going to want to seal the ductwork. You can see here that there's a huge section of ductwork that is totally uninsulated. Um, this is the return side, but that's every bit of ductwork up here should be insulated. That's going to be the same temperature as the attic, which is going to be the same temperatures outside pretty soon. So uh, we want to protect the exhaust fans. Uh, the inside of those is going to be all wet because it's hot, moist air inside there, and this is going to be 30 degrees out here. So uh, you might have some staining on your around your exhaust fans in the bathrooms. We've also got jumbled insulation back there. Um, that needs to be set right and made sure that it's actually protecting the surface that it's laid up against. So once the air sealing and the insulation is hit in this attic, we hit the mechanical system as well. We make sure that the distribution, the duct system, is totally sealed and insulated. Then this is going to be a very highly performing house because this space is over the top of basically every bit of the second floor and so it affects everything. I think one of the things that I'm finding in the results from what I've seen is in terms of an investment for your dollar, I think you get a much bigger bang for your buck and it should reduce my energy usage for heating, um, heat things in half. And we can actually document that and make sure we come back in and make sure that the work that they do really does achieve those kinds of savings. Um, so it's very tangible and very immediate, the kind of savings you can see. And I think that'll really increase the home value uh, tremendously of the house as well, that, that that's already been done. Uh, and it's only gonna be like a week long project. It's easy work. Mm -hmm.